Ethel clearly was a pioneer. She blazed a trail that other people could follow, but her achievement is even more remarkable given she grew up at a time when the barriers for women were enormous. Women, when it came to work, they were at a very serious disadvantage. No pretense of a level playing field, particularly if you came from a working class background as Ethel did. This is a certificate when she actually became a chartered accountant by examination. In Ethel's case, she had actually passed the exams, the first woman in England to do so. And just looking at the dates, it's 6th of February, 1924. Wow. She used the tools that she won through accountancy to analyse public policy, particularly in issues relating to women. So equal pay was one of her big causes. You go through this fascinating collection of papers you have letters which are precise, concise, very, very lucid. She argues on terms of facts and first principles. They'd heard the rhetoric. She wanted to break them down by argument. And in many cases, she succeeded. What was your impression of her, though, as a woman? And... Well, she was highly intellectual and devoted to women's issues. And she was very keen that I should continue with my training to be a doctor. Now, this is taken um, at an equal pay meeting in Trafalgar Square in 1952, mm. so she was still at it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very proud of her. Uh, I wish she was here mm. to know that she's, her work has, was so much appreciated. Ethel was evidently a determined woman, but she couldn't have achieved what she did without the support of some of the more enlightened men of the age. Sir William Peat, the P in KPMG, played an instrumental role in helping to remove the legal barriers for women entering the profession. And his son, Sir Harry Peat, offered Ethel her first job at Peat, Marwick, Mitchell & Co. She went on to have an illustrious career, becoming a passionate advocate for women's rights, both within and outside of her profession. Somebody has to be first. It's a very, very lonely thing and requires enormous determination. 